Hello! In this video I will show you how to create a brand new page using a visual composer. And as an example I'm going to use um, Gallery's landing page. So let's go ahead and create a new page. Under Pages click Add New. And then we're going to give it a name. And the template I'm going to be using is the default template which is the full width. So no sidebar on this page. Now what the Visual Composer is, it's a plugin that we've installed and it gives you all types of options so you can have the freedom to style your content in any way you want it to look um, and make it look professional basically. So we're going to click on Visual Composer and the next thing we're going to do is click on Add Row. Now I don't want it to be one column from left to right, I want it to be three columns. We're going to have three albums for now and I want each column to have um, basically an image and an album name in each column. So when people click on the album, they will go to that album's page and view all of the pictures in that album. So hover over this second tab and then go to three. And it puts three columns in for you. So then all you have to do is just add your content to each column. Click the plus. And I'm going to use the text block because I want it to look basically how I want it to look. And what I'm going to do here is create some space and add my um, picture for the album that I want to be like a cover. So I'm going to select from my computer. Give me a second. Okay, so I added the picture and I've already cropped the three pictures um, that I want to use as the um, landing page pictures. It's a really good idea to um, make all the pictures uniform when you want them to look nice and neat and in the same row. So I'm going to select this picture and what I'm going to do is select center and the custom link is going to be vegansjourney.org slash 2013 album and I'm going to create that page. I think I might already have it. I'm going to do the original or the three, 300 by 300. Insert. Here's our picture. We can stretch that window to see it better. Here we go. And then what I want to do is replace this text with the title of the album. Um, so it's, whoops, album 2013. And I'll even use a header styling, so maybe I'll use number three, and I want it centered under the picture. So let's see how that looks. Click on save. And let's go ahead and publish. Come on. Alright, let's go ahead and view our page. All you have to do is click on view page at the top. I'm going to see what it looks like. So here's our first little thumbnail with the album. So it looks like there's a little bit too much space here. So let's go ahead and click on edit, remove that space, and also add a link to the title of the album. So if the person wants to click either on the picture or on the title, either way they're going to be taken to the right page. So hover over this little block and then click on the edit pencil to edit this section. So let's go ahead and remove and for some reason makes you redo it again and then we'll style it and add a link. So click this link shortcut. Here's your window. Here we go and click on add there you are save update and i'm going to open this page in a new window or a new tab actually so it's easier for me to go back and forth So there it is, and here's my link. So no matter if people click on here or here, they're gonna go to the album for 2013. So then we're gonna go back and then do the same thing for 2013. Click on text block. And 
and make some space. Add a picture. I'm going to go ahead and grab it from my computer. All right, I got the picture. We're going to center it again. Custom URL is Regan's Journey slash this is 2012 album. And we're going to do the same size, 300 by 300. Insert. Here's a picture. And let's replace this text. Uh, album 2012. And we're going to go ahead and style it with a heading 3, center it, and put a link on it. Just make sure your link matches the exact link to the um, album's page. Otherwise, it's just not going to go to the right place. Click on Save update there's my picture beautiful and let's go ahead and do this all right so um, and you can just continue doing that with the uh, third one I'm gonna add it and to make sure that we have the right links let's go ahead and click on 2012 album here and it does look like I have the right link. Well, maybe I have it reversed. I think they have the year last. So we can go ahead and just copy it. Wait, it was 2012. All right, so go ahead and click on this little pencil. All right, to edit the link that's on the picture, just click on the picture, go to edit. And then here's your link. So let's go ahead and add the link, the right link, update. And then the same thing for the text, highlight, click on link, and paste your link in there. Update, and save. Save again. Come on. All right, so we'll go back and refresh this page. And let's go ahead and click to make sure that everything works beautifully. So it goes to the right um, gallery. So, and then here's all of your pictures that um, I will replace them with the real pictures. But um, basically when people come here, they can just view the big pictures um, in this album. So that's it for the gallery, pretty easy.